Today we're going to look at the selected mixer track and how to use it. There are four main categories of mixer tracks. The master track, the insert tracks, the send tracks, and the selected track. The selected track takes audio from the currently selected track in the mixer. Here the Sakura track is selected and the audio is sent to the selected track. If I select a silent track, you can see the activity stops. Note that there is no audio output from the selected mixer track. It's input only. So what do you use the selected mixer track for? The two main uses are, one, recording audio. You can arm the track or put an instance of Edison in there, then you can record the audio from whatever track you have selected. The second is to host WaveCandy. But why would you want to do that? WaveCandy is a collection of professional audio visualisation tools. There's an oscilloscope, great for learning what plugin controls are doing to waveforms. One of the overlooked helpers here is the right click tool to select the root note of the waveform. That syncs it to the display. Spectrum. That shows a sonograph of the input audio. Again this is great for seeing what controls do to waveforms and is particularly useful for identifying the frequencies of unwanted noises. Metering. The default is the standard peak meter, but there are a bunch of other professional types under the mode menu. Finally, vector scope. That gives you information about the stereo content of the input audio. I'll send you to the manual to learn the details of these. As you probably know, you can resize the display. And if you've done that, you may have also noticed the mode keeps changing. The plugin does its best to guess at what mode you want depending on the aspect ratio. To stop that, right click the display and turn auto off. You can also select the mode from the display itself. Until next time, load WaveCandy on your selected mixer track and enjoy your visualizations.